Hey guys, what is up? So today I wanted to create this look. I posted it on my Instagram probably a couple weeks ago. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, be sure to do that. I'll put the information below. Um, but it had a bunch of likes on it and I really enjoyed wearing it and I wanted to recreate it in a video. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I already have my foundation done, eyebrows done, and blush and bronzer done. First, what you're going to want to do is prime your eyelids and I just use the NYX HD primer, but there's one from e.l.f. that's a dollar or you can use high-end ones too, but this one is about um, $5.99 and I find it works really well. Next, what you're going to want to do is take your white base, I'm using one from NYX, and just put that on the lid and then I'm just going to blend it in with my finger. Not really spreading it, but just kind of patting it to um, soften the edges and make sure the product is all even. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Electric Palette. You can use any eyeshadows that are um, pretty bright, um, have good pigmentation, even if they're not as good. Um, using a base like this will make anything stick to it. But I do really recommend this palette. It has great colors, especially if you want to get this electric uh, festival makeup or if you're going to a concert or you just love bright colors, um, I totally recommend this. So I'm mostly going to be using today a flat brush. When you're using really pigmented shadows that tend to have some fallout, um, it's best to use a flat brush and really press into the shadow and then press it on rather than trying to sweep because then you're just going to get it all over your face. So I'm going to start with um, this one right here called Urban, so you just can take any dark purple. And the majority of these are shimmery, so if you want matte shades, you can use those too. And I'm just going to pat this on the outer corner. It's okay if it's not exactly even right now, because we're going to be blending later and adding more colors, so right now we're just kind of laying down... Um, kind of a map of where all the colors are going to go, but they're eventually all going to kind of blend together. Next I'm going to take um, Jilted, that's this one right here, it's more of a magenta, getting a little bit more pink, and I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush, and even though it's a little bit fluffier, I'm still just going to be doing a pressing motion, and I'm just going to apply that um, overlapping with the dark purple, but going a little bit into the crease and you can bring it a little bit farther in like that. Then I'm going to go back with my flat brush and I'm going to take um, Chaos, it's the brightest blue right here and just again you're going to be patting but I'm overlapping that a little bit with the dark purple and not really going farther than the center of my lid. So I'm going to take this bright green, this is um, freak and then we're gonna put a little bit of thrash in the inner corner so I'm using the same brush I'm just kind of wiping it off in between each color Now what I'm going to do is go back with that fluffy brush and I'm going to kind of go through all the colors we already used. So I'm going to start with Urban, that darkest purple, and we're just going to kind of blend everything together. And I'm not so much like swiping because, again, you'll get fallout um, with these bright colors. I'm just kind of like patting and gently blending. And this is the best way to blend if you're using um, pigments or products that are kind of um, messy to so just go gradually. And you can see hopefully how well that just those three colors there um, blended together and then I'm going to take a little bit of the green and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to let the green kind of feather out a little bit more this way just so it kind of lightens up the lid a little bit. Um, I am recreating this look 
I did this before, I'm doing it a little bit differently I think, but I'm looking at a picture that I posted to Instagram a while back and a couple people liked it so I figured I'd do a video on it and I do really like this look. Um, and then just to brighten the inner corner again I'm going to take a little bit of thrash and just kind of put that even over the green and just kind of feather it out. I do have a little bit of fallout so I'm just going to take my foundation brush and kind of swipe that away. Okay so now that that's pretty well blended together, hopefully you can see that, um, I'm going to go back with this small blending brush and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go into like a, um, a neutral palette. I'm going to take a color like this, so it's just a couple, oh, I don't know if you can, there we go. <laughs> so it's just a couple shades darker than my actual skin tone and I'm going to put this right on the edge. So it's just going to add a little bit of depth and give us something to blend out the next color I'm going to use into since it is um, going to be a bright pink next. I don't want to just have like bright pink. Um, I want a little bit something to give it a little bit of structure I guess. So this is kind of just like a nude color. Um, and then also that magenta color we put you can see is kind of starting to blend as well. I'm taking the Electra palette, we're going to go in with this bright pink. If you are using this palette, just be careful because this pink is extremely pigmented and you only need a tiny bit and it goes a very long way. Especially if we're just blending it out in the crease. We're not packing it out now, we're actually blending it. So just a little bit is going to give you the intensity that I'm looking for. <laughs> Otherwise you can, I mean you could put as much as you want, it's completely up to you. But um, I want mine to be, I mean, this is wearable for me, so um, if you're going to a concert or something, you know, you can go crazy. Now that I have the pink that I want, I'm going to go in a little bit with this color, just right along the other colors that we have, just to give it a little bit of depth. Since it is a little bit of a darker pink. Sometimes when you blend you lose a little bit of color intensity, so I'm going to go back in just with this shade to make sure the outer corner is nice and deep. Now this next step is optional, but um, <clears throat> I think it came out really well when I added a little bit of black just to the outer V here. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to take kind of a pencil brush. And this is a really, really nice matte black. This is from the Tarte Matte Nificent palette. I don't know if this is still available, but um, any super, super dark black will work well because you just need a little bit. So I'm going to just kind of dot it first and then kind of blend where I've dotted. And when you're wearing a colorful look like this, just adding a little bit of black um, helps, I, f I think, to make it a little bit more wearable. And I just think it really makes it look really gorgeous. So if you can see the difference, um, here it's just all the colors and just adding a little bit of black just gives it a little bit of depth and I really like that look. I'm going to take kind of a flat brush and I'm going to go back in with this palette and take this shade that's really close to my skin tone and I'm just going to run it just like that to clean up um, my outer edge. I don't know if you can really see in the video, but it works really nicely to sharpen that outer edge and clean up any colors that have gotten a little crazy or fallout. So now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the same pencil brush that I used with the hot pink, I'm just wiping it off, and I'm going to first, just because it is the lower lash line, you don't, I'm going to be using some pinks down here. I don't want it looking like um, you're sickly, really. So I'm going to start again with this nude color and just kind of messily slop that down there. I'm going back with the electric palette. I'm going to start off with just the tiniest bit of Savage. Did I say that that was the name of the shadow earlier? I don't know. And just blend that out. 
So now I'm going to switch to a smaller liner brush. It's just an angled brush. And I'm gonna take um, Jilted right here. And I'm just gonna put that along the lashes. And I'm not gonna bring it down as far as that hot pink. Next, I'm going to take Urban. That's the darkest purple again. And I'm also going to just put that right over where I put um, Jilted, or that magenta. And that pretty much completes the eyes. The only thing I'm going to do as a final touch is take uh, my Z palette. And I'm just going to take this color here. It's L'Oreal's Morning Light. Um, it's just a shimmery kind of light gold color. And I'm just going to take any old brush. I'm just going to put that right in the inner corner just to kind of brighten in there. Since we do have greens and pinks going on, um, I want to keep the inner corner bright. And that is another um, little trick that helps you make a kind of an unwearable look a little bit more wearable. Now what I'm going to do is, this is the NYX Wonder Pencil, it's just a skin toned pencil. And I'm just going to put this into the waterline, just since we do have um, a lot of pink going on. I just want a little bit of something to separate my eye from the pink. And then I'm going to take, take a dark navy pencil. This is from Stila, and it's just called Navy. And I'm just going to smudge this along the lash line, just because I don't want to do winged liner. I want to keep this really smoky and kind of blown out. And then I'm going to go back with that same um, angled brush we used earlier and just kind of smudge it a little bit and just make sure it it's blended in and right along the lashes. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. I don't normally curl my lashes, but I'm not going to use um, any fake lashes, so I want to make sure my lashes... Uh, look really thick and lengthening and lengthened um, just thick and long you know <laughs> so I'm gonna use uh, the NYX stacked I like combining two mascaras I'm gonna use this one and also um, the Essence get big lashes so two really great drugstore mascaras um, this NYX one has a really nice brush it's almost just like a comb I don't know if you can see that but this gives really nice length, and then the other one gives really nice thickness, so I like to go in with this one first. And then I like to do a second coat with this one. And that completes the eyes. Um, I'll add a little bit more blush. I'm going to use this one from Makeup Geek. It's called Rendezvous, and it's kind of um, almost a purpley pink. And I think that would go really nice with this, and I just have it in a Z palette. I'll just kind of blend that all over. And I already did a little bit of bronzer, so you can just use any bronzer you like. And then for lips, I think when I originally did this, I used... I'll use this one. This is from Revlon, and this is called Primrose. It's kind of like that blush. It's a pink, but it's almost a little bit purpley. And then over it, <clears throat> this is a really similar color, this is Meringue, um, it's a NYX Butter Gloss. And it's almost like a lilac as well. But that completes the look, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I would wear this any day, I last time I wore it I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, it's really pretty, you can wear it to a music festival. Um, it's really colorful, just any occasion. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I do Halloween videos and beauty videos like this, so um, leave a comment below if you have any questions about any products used, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.